Times Trucking Stories, brought to you by Brady Talbot of Finlay's. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. That's the end of our holidays. That's right. One night off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so... Thanks, Kylie, from Trucking Support Agency for having me last night. But, um, we're here. We're going to see my truck now, which is as slick as getting its protective film put on the bull bar. First time I've been away from my truck in a while. It's yeah. No, I missed her. I missed the truck. I really did. I'm here. Want to go for a drive? Well, let's go in, see Maddie, and uh, see where she's up to with it. Oh, here we go. There's the big girl. Oh, have a look at that, eh? Doesn't that look bloody good? How are we going, girls? Yeah. How are you? Oh, swell. Thank you. We are just about done. Oh, you've got goods in your hand. I do, yeah. I've, I've loaded up with um, luxury items of food today, so. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, we're just doing our final check at the moment, yep. so it's all wrapped. Oh, we've left two pieces to show you. Oh, right. How so we food, do it. food video content. Is yes. that, that's why we've yes. done that one. Like. That was already predetermined, too. So. I was thinking for you. You were actually. Yeah. I, I did bugger all. I rang her up like half an hour ago and she's like. You had a sleep in. I did. <laughs> I did. Yeah. No, that's okay. So, uh, yeah, everything's all wrapped. All the pipes are done. The two mid uprights are done. The bar's done. We've just trimmed out all the lights. That is the hardest part of the bar. Oh, so, yes. they're all trimmed out. And, uh, yeah, good as gold. So, it's just going to dry out now. Very good. Well, at least people know why there's syringes all over our shop there. Because it does everyone's make sense. Like, walks in like, what the fuck is going on here? So tell us, Maddie, what, what is she doing with the syringe there? Okay, so we're just doing what we call final check. So we're checking everything over. There's always going to be like a couple of little bubbles of either air or water that we've missed. Yep. You can see them more as it dries out over time. So semis there just syringing them out. Simply prick them and then the um, water, water or air can pass out nice and easy. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the film here. Yep. How long you been doing it? What? Why you do it? Yep. Okay, and so all that. <laughs> well, I guess we. I first started doing PPF four years ago. Yep. And I went straight into trucks, which is really not what paint protection film is made for. It's made for luxury cars. Yeah. Uh, but I used to sell um, used trucks, and I saw how badly they got peppered on the fronts of cab overs and things. Yeah. So that's why we went into that, and then yeah, it's been a. It was a bit of hard yakker at the start, getting everyone to believe uh, that I knew what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. As, you know, and as an unproven product, so yeah, it was really, really hard at the start. Uh, um, but now we're sort of got a, got some really good loyal customers and a lot of fleets. That yeah, buy, that's so true. That, that helps us a lot. Yeah, it was good actually. Like I got my bar polished yesterday, and they straight away go, "Yep, we work with Slick as, so I go around and see them." So able to do it both in yeah. a day. And I was able to go down to a couple of transport yards around the corner and actually see the work that they've done. So, yeah. but here we go. That's my truck's proven that the bloody comes up fantastic. So yeah, and it will continue to look even better. And like, yeah. it takes 48 hours to fully dry out. So there will be Very a little good. bit of moisture under the film for the next two days. But then so. once it's that, it's good as gold. And then uh, yeah, we might even give it a check over when you're around in a month's time or something. Yeah, just lovely. To check it all over. Easy done. Sweet. I know. Well, I'm recording now, so <laughs> you may as well. Okay. Roll it, you have right. 26 seconds to tell us about what you're doing. Right, and go so Maddie, go! <laughs> so this is the film as you can see when I lay it. So it looks a little bit chaotic at the start. You think, how can that wrap around? But what we do is we have to do the uprights in a series of different cuts and things. So the first step is we always squeegee this back bit out. And then what I'm gonna do is wrap around the sides of the uprights. So if I make a series of cuts, I can then fold this piece of film in here like that. So the uprights are really time consuming. Um, it normally takes like an hour and a half to do a big upright. So I will not make you stick around for that long. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. But you'll make me stand here for that long. Oh, no, right? you definitely have to stand here. Oh, long. bloody hell. <laughs> How long does it normally take to do a bar like my handsome one? Well, your bar, the time consuming part was mainly the lights. Yep. Um, but I'd say this bar probably around seven hours. There you go. Yeah, and then some of the bigger ones, like easily 10 hours to wrap a bar if we're doing full coverage. So some people go for just like the front faces of the bar 
like only the fronts of your uprights, fronts of your pipes, that's like cheaper. But other people, if you don't want to polish, then you go ahead and obviously get as much coverage as possible. Beautiful. But not me, I've gone all out and I've got more lights than you can poke a big stick at. So I made you work for it, didn't I, Maddie? You did. <laughs> we're not letting this dry out overnight like we usually would. Yep. I normally do a 30 day checkup on cars, whatever we do. Um, trucks are a bit hard to get back, but if you could come back, there's yeah, so many edges on this. So yeah. I'd like to check that everything stayed down or trim out anything I need. How's the service on that, eh? What are we up to? The finishing touches here, are we girls? Yeah. Just making sure these are, they don't grab when the washer expands. Millimeter perfect that, isn't it? Excellent work.